we're going to go through the exercises on the how-to to do each exercise. Before I start, often if I need an extra pickup or some more energy, a product that I recommend is No Explode. Yeah, this is orange flavor. There's a couple different flavors, and they're all really good. Yeah, it always helps you when, when you train a lot because you train some Krav Maga, like two hours of Krav Maga this morning, right. plus your exercises, so that's really good. Yeah, well said. Thank you. It does. It really helps. Um, uh, the, the first routine is going to be TRX pull-ups and slide shuffle. So why don't you go ahead and do the slide shuffle, and then I'll do the, the TRX. So you'll slide, touch the ground. Slide, touch the ground, and you can also do it with the weights in your hands. And while the girl's doing that, what the guy will be doing is... TRX pull-ups. And when you're doing the pull-ups, lower yourself down slowly so you don't slam against the wall. And then what, you have a couple of options. Option one, pull-up, pull-up. I mean, you have varying different options. Option two, leg out. Option three, leg straight. depending on your fitness level and what you'd prefer to do. Lunge, jump with your back leg. So let's lower this down so you can go ahead and do the lunge jumps. And while you're doing the lunge jumps, well, I'll put a link beneath, we'll have a link beneath the, the video where people can get the TRX. What you want to do when you're doing this is make sure that your knee is straight. You have two options. One is just the lunge. The second is a lunge jump. And when you jump, the ideal of the jump would be to jump up and hit my knee. So jump and hit the knee. That would be the exercise. While you're doing the lunge jump, my exercise will be down, down. Before and then the side would be uh, open your legs, forward, touch as far as you can go. Next, alternate dumbbell curls with pike. So you'll lower this one down so you can do the pike. And it's so easy to go up and down with this thing which is good because we have 10 seconds between the workouts. So you can go ahead and do the pike. Let me hold this for you. The easiest way is you get one in, one in, and then the other one you can just stick your foot through it. There you go, and go ahead and do the pikes. You have, you have two, really a couple options on this. Option one is just hold the position, a plank. Option two is bring your knees in. Option three is bring, bring one knee to this, this, this elbow all the way to the elbow. There you go. And the other one, all the way to the elbow. This side. There you go. So you have three options. And while you're doing that one, what I'll be doing is doing the alternate dumbbell curls. Alternate dumbbell curls, holding my stomach in, my knees slightly bent, my back straight, looking straight out. I'll be lifting up, turning my arm, and bringing it all the way in. It's important to keep your, the more you can keep your elbows pretty much in the same location in front of your body and avoid any type of swing like that, the better. Tricep dips on TRX, arm over the shoulder and shrimp. Do you want to demonstrate the arm over the shoulder and I'll organize this for the, the tricep dips. So while I'm doing this, The exercise you'll be doing is, there you go. What, on this one here, you, you're gonna wanna turn your body all the way over to the side. There you go. When you do it, and, and touch as far as you can touch, you go back down again, and then push, push, push. You're gonna push as if there's someone right in front of you. So you're gonna push from here. There you go. Perfect. And then you'll come back to the middle, and you'll repeat right here, and then turn onto your shoulder. There you go. Come back down. And 
and repeat to the other side and keep on doing those. Meanwhile, what I'll be doing in the, in the circuit are tricep dips. You have a couple of options. Option one, you know, keep your feet out here, tricep dips. Option number two, get a leg out. Makes it a little bit harder. And option number three is where you'll, you'll basically be lifting up your body, holding it all the way up while you do the tricep dips. Squat bicep and side kick squat lunge. On this one, you'll be doing the side kick, squat, side kick, squat, while I'll be doing the bicep isolations. So go ahead. Really good. Couple things to notice is notice how on the, the foot on the ground, hold that, hold that pose. Hold that pose for one second. Um, turn this foot out. You don't need to be kicking super high. Kick where it's comfortable for you. The most important thing is that you're, you're continually moving when you're doing this exercise. And on the squat, why don't we do one squat? Let me, let me demonstrate. Really important to go down 90 degrees. Keep your knees um, perpendicular to the ground. They should never pass your toes. And while you're doing that, I'll be doing bicep isolation curls. Here. Sorry, I'm not going to be doing that exercise. I'll be doing bicep isolations, which will be squatting down, putting my elbow in my thigh, and bringing up, bringing these up. So you'll be doing lunge forward kick, lunge back kick. And I'll be doing tricep extension. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. So lunge, forward kick, lunge, back kick. A couple of things to look at is, very good. <laughs> Liar. Liar. <laughs> Do it one more time and I'm going to point out a couple of things. When you're doing the lunge, keep your knee 90 degrees, critical. Keep your back straight. When you're doing the kick, what you're doing is you're kicking as if there's something you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kick and, and hit with the ball of your foot. Boom, really important. When you take a lunge back and you kick behind you, look over your shoulder, look who's behind you. Then kick, perfect. And you have a variation, that would be variation two. The simple variation would just simply do a lunge forward, keeping your back straight, and then doing a lunge back. So you have different variations. Level three would be doing this with weights in your hands. While you're doing this, I will be doing tricep extensions, which will be keeping my back straight. Thank you. Extending my tricep. Making sure my tricep stays in the same place is important and higher up so that there's more of an extension. The last exercise, which is part of the sport part, is the kicks. So the, the motion for this is you're going to start out with your two feet parallel, take one step behind, and then you're going to kick up. When you bring your foot back, you'll switch to be the same location, but on the other, facing the other direction, and then you're going to step behind and you'll kick again. And you can do it with your partner as you'll see. The key is one partner is kicking and the other waits a microsecond to kick so you don't kick each other. Thank you.